Hello and welcome to the Blessing of the Week, where we pause for just a few minutes to remember that life is a journey and that every week offers us the opportunity to grow closer to God and live a more fulfilling life. This video was created for the week of May 15th, 2020, but we pray that it will be a blessing to you whenever you encounter it. Hello, I'm Reverend Susan. I'm the rector at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Ventura, California, where we follow Jesus, nurture ministries, and welcome all. I invite you to join me in this prayer for the coming week. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know you is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. This week, remember that life is more than just what you see here. There is a spiritual side to everything, and God's ways are different from the ways of the world. The world encourages us to struggle for fame, fortune, to be better than the next guy, and try to be sure that we always get what's coming to us. God tells us that we need to love our neighbors and be willing to sacrifice for the sake of others. Jesus teaches us to put the needs of others first and to sacrifice on their behalf. So this week, do just that. In all that you think and do, And say, make a conscious effort to put love first above all things. And remember that if it's not about love, it's not about God. Now, a quick but powerful spiritual practice that can help you grow in faith and connect more deeply with the one who created you. This week, I suggest you do some thankfulness journaling. Put a pad of paper somewhere where you'll encounter it at least twice a day. Twice a day, go and shot down at least three things that you're thankful for. That's it. It's simple, easy to do, and it won't take much time at all, but it's a powerful practice that can help you live more deeply into your spiritual life. May this simple practice help you to grow closer to God, and may it nurture your soul and help you to grow in faith. In last Sunday's service, we remembered the final commandment Jesus gave us, to love one another as he loves us. Now, this is not a casual kind of love. It's a deep and abiding love, the kind of love that's willing to make sacrifices for the good of others. We are to share that kind of love, a love that's willing to take risks, to stand up to injustice, to show compassion and offer forgiveness. We're called to make a difference in the world. We also had an ASL Minute where we learned the signs for thanks and praise. We'll put the links in the description below in case you'd like to learn more. I invite you to join us for our service next Sunday at 10.15 a.m. when we'll learn about a love so deep, so strong, so amazing that it surpasses all our expectations and exceeds all we can desire. Who is this love for? It's for you. And it's for everyone. So come, learn about the love God has for us. Enjoy inspiring scripture, beautiful prayers, wonderful music, and an uplifting message. Come to church and get inspired. You can join us in person in beautiful Ventura, California, or attend online on our website, Facebook page, or YouTube channel. All are welcome because God loves us all. So in the midst of this busy week, remember you are loved and cherished by God. You are an amazing creature with great potential. Do what you can to make the world a better place. Pray for those in need and surround everyone who suffers with light and love and God's blessing. You are the light of Christ in the world. Your love, your prayers, your help can make this world a better place. So come lean in for a quick blessing and then go out and make it a great week. Here we go. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for your beloved, Jesus Christ, in whom you have shared the beauty and pain of human life. Look with compassion on this, your precious child. Strengthen them and all of us to be instruments of your love and light in the world. 
And now I pray the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to rest upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen.